welcome to January 24th, the year 2010, first work day of the week that is called a day of the sun or Sunday. Well, brethren, let's get right on over into the Lord's Care Ministry. Our daily walk with Jesus, day 24 of the year 2010. Visitors arrive from the eastern lands. Brethren, I suggest you write the chapter and verses down so that you will be able to go back and study the whole context at your own leisure to get the full understanding. We've been talking about Christ's birth which is the traditional churches give you a wrong interpretation about it. You can use the pause button down here to start and stop this lecture at your own leisure. Well, with that, brethren, we're going to open up our Bibles now, blow the dust off of them, open up to Matthew chapter 2, and we're going to be studying verses 9 through 12. Matthew chapter 2, verses 9 through 12. After this interview with the astrologer, and your Bible is call it the Magi, and you will find that they were high officials from Parthia. Most likely they were Levites that got moved out of Israel. And they looked up, the star appeared to them again, standing over Bethlehem. Their joy knew no bounds. Entering the house where the baby and Mary, his mother, were, they threw themselves down before him, worshiping. Then they opened up the presents and gave him gold, Frankenstein, and mirth. This is what our traditional teachers say. There was three of these magi. But there could have been a hundred. They just gave three gifts to the king. But when they returned to their own land, they didn't go through Jerusalem to report to Herod, for God had warned them in a dream to go home another way. Jesus was probably one or two years old when the astrologers found him. By this time, Mary and Joseph were married, living in a house, and in, intending to stay in Bethlehem for a while. Essence of True Worship The astrologers gave these expensive gifts because they were worthy presents for a future king. Bible students as seen in the gift symbols of Christ's identity and what he would accomplish. Gold was a gift for a king. Frankincense, a gift for deity. Mirth was a medicine and was also used in burial spice. The astrologers brought gifts and worshipped Jesus for who he was. This was the essence of a true worship, honoring Christ for who he is and being willing to give him what is valuable to you. Worship Jesus because he is the perfect, just, and almighty creator of the universe, worthy of the best you have to give. Our need for daily prayer. May I never profess more than I actually experience, but may the hidden things in my heart be richer and fuller and deeper than I express to any but to you, O oh, searcher of hearts, and you hold fast to my name. I have trusted in thy mercy. My heart shall rejoice in thy salvation. I will sing unto the Lord, because he hath dwelt bountifully with me. Your daily walk on that narrow path will bring you eternal life with the Father and his Son. Faint falls the gentle voice of a prayer. 
Proverbs 15 verse 29 reads, The Lord is hearing the prayer of the righteous. Brethren, in God's word only do we trust. Never in the tradition of men. Beware of the tradition of men that make void the word of God. The tradition of men is using this day, the first day of the week, the day the Lord says is a work day, to go down on the corner for about an hour and worship Him. Then you go play golf or go to a movie or a sports game, whatever. God doesn't say to do that. He doesn't say to worship me as these other do their gods. Old Testament said a couple of times. Maybe by tomorrow I'll find that and show it to you. It says, don't worship me as they do their gods. And their gods was worshiping the sun the first day of the week as far away from God's holy Sabbath as you can get. His is the seventh day and theirs is the first. But it, yet it mirrors the Sabbath. It's a false mirror. Look into the mirror. Your right hand shows on the left and your left shows on the right. It's the same way that Baal or these Sunday worshipers are doing. They're saying, Oh Lord, but he won't hear them. Look in there. Look at your Bible. And these prayers they are given him, it says in your Bible, is an abomination. 